Today, we'll discuss self improvement. Hello, everyone. If you're a returning subscriber, I'm so glad you've decided to come back and join me today in talking about self care. Now, emotional well being has become a passion of mine after years and years of searching for happiness and fulfillment. Everywhere I turned for healing left me more broken than when I started. It wasn't until I began to search within myself to find the answers I desperately needed. This is exactly why I've started this channel. It's my mission to share with the world what I've learned on my journey on self-discovery. Living a peaceful, happy life is entirely possible and I'm living proof of that. I am a firm believer that we are our own best healers. And how do we heal from years of destructive behaviors? How do we heal from a lifetime of doubt and low self-esteem? through learning self-improvement techniques and applying them to our daily lives. There is no way to grow and move forward in life unless we have the knowledge of how to do so. In this video we're going to look at what self-improvement means and a few practical ways you can start your journey. What is self-improvement? Let's start with the most basic question. What is self-improvement? Self-improvement involves improving any aspect of yourself, for example, personal qualities, skills, and even the roles we play like husband or wife and son or daughter. When we start thinking about how to improve ourselves, it can be helpful to be strategic about where we put our efforts. So we don't waste time on the wrong things. While some parts of ourselves are changeable, others are fixed, no matter how hard we try. While of course self-improvement means to improve yourself, why do we need to do so in the first place? Many of us over time develop self-destructive habits, whether we realize it or not. This may show up as mental blocks like chronic indecisiveness all the way to more materialistic downfalls like retail therapy or smoking. The positive spin on these behaviors is that often they're fueled by negative emotions or mindsets, which can be changed with hard work and determination. Self-improvement focuses on practicing daily habits that will enhance your overall personal capabilities and potential. Self-improvement activities will create the best version of you you've only ever imagined. First and foremost, you must change your mindset. One of the most beautiful mindsets for improving your life is a growth mindset. A growth mindset is the tendency to believe that abilities can be developed over time with hard work. Those with a growth mindset try harder, strive to learn new approaches, and seek out feedback when they are stuck. Perhaps these are some of the reasons why having a growth mindset has been linked to success in a variety of life domains. When we change our mindset, the outlook on life changes along with it. Change your expectations for yourself. Secondly, another important thing in making positive change is having positive expectations. Positive expectations are simply thoughts that things will work out well. We know from research on the placebo effect that a non-active intervention or treatment can result in positive change if we truly believe it will. Our brains are incredible powerhouses. And when we wholeheartedly believe we will change, our bodies and minds start to produce the chemicals and hormones needed to do so. Change your emotions. Finally, you must take control of your emotions and put yourself back in the driver's seat. Science is just now beginning to fully understand how interconnected our brains and bodies are to one another. It's well researched that when we sit in negative emotions daily, we're more likely to get physically ill. The broaden and build theory of positive emotion suggests that positive Emotions build on themselves, eventually leading to positive outcomes like professional success and relationship well-being. Indeed, research has shown that positive emotions generally lead to greater success, not the other way around. Our unhealthy or undesirable behaviors are often attempts at controlling or reducing our negative emotions. These are just some of the reasons why learning how to change your emotions can be key to changing your behavior and changing your life. Self-improvement tips. So, you want to learn how to begin your journey into self-improvement. There are many different things you can do. The more of them you participate in, and the more often you do so, the greater your outcome. However, start small with baby steps to avoid burnout or discouragement. Once one activity is accomplished consistently, you can add another, and another, and so on. Let's look at a few ways you can begin to improve yourself, and your life. Self-reflection. In order to change aspects of your life that are holding you back, or no longer serving you, you must take a good hard look at yourself. This is done through self-reflection. Don't be fooled, though. Self-reflection is often much harder than you may think. Nobody likes to sit and think about all the negative parts of themselves. But, by doing so, 
you're prioritizing what needs to be fixed first. Mindfulness techniques. Mindfulness is the act of bringing attention to the experience of each moment. It also involves an attitude of curiosity and acceptance versus judgment and seeing thoughts and emotions just as they are, like self-reflection. Mindfulness can potentially make us more open to experiences and possibilities that can aid self-improvement. This can be done through journaling, meditation, and inner child healing. Set goals for yourself. Goal setting is the process of thinking about and deciding on specific changes and objectives that you would like to achieve. Many years of research have shown that setting goals can help us improve our performance and give us motivation to keep going. When setting goals, make sure to follow the SMART method. Are your goals S. Specific M. Meaningful A. Achievable R. Realistic T. Trackable So, when setting goals for self-improvement make sure to track them with the SMART system. This ensures you're setting clear standards and boundaries around what you want to achieve. Make time for rest. Before you can dive deep into self-improvement, it's crucial to start with the basics. Making sure your body is getting the rest and recharge it needs ensures you will have the energy and capacity to work on other aspects of yourself. Read more books. Reading is one of the most underrated and beneficial tools for self-improvement. There are quite literally books on every topic you can think of. If you don't have the financial means, you can always visit a public library and check one out for free. While some books are written specifically for your self-improvement journey, getting lost in any sort of book relating to a passion of yours works wonders for the soul. Practice kindness. The easiest way to better yourself is to practice showing kindness to others. And it costs absolutely nothing to do so. Not only can it make you feel better about yourself, but it also benefits the lives of those around you. It's a win-win situation for everyone. When you begin random acts of kindness, you retrain your brain to become more empathetic and aware of others. In turn, making you a better person. A quick recap. Now that we've come to the end of this episode, let's recap quickly. Self-improvement simply means taking the time and energy to better yourself, on purpose. It means looking inward at aspects of yourself that aren't growing with you. So you can blossom into the best version of yourself. Before you can dive deep into the journey of self-improvement. Remember the basics of self-care, a full night's rest, healthy meals, and getting your body moving. Once you've covered the bare minimum, you can move on to more specific actions such as setting goals, reading, practicing mindfulness techniques, or simply being kind to others. Self-improvement takes work, but it's by no means impossible. The highest version of yourself is inside of you, waiting to bloom.